Hi guys, welcome to The Pump Room. My name is Ali and we are doing kit bag cocktails today. I'm gonna to show you how to make a rum punch in a jerry can. <laughs> what? But first, but first, but first, let's go to the petrol station. Come join me. We're at a petrol station and we're gonna buy some some stuff and make some cocktails. Because that's what we do on this show. We make cocktails and stuff. Get from the petrol station. So, what do we get from the petrol station? Boom! <laughs> yes! Got stuff from the petrol station. I got this. And I got this. I got that as well. I got some rum. We're gonna make some rum punch, but the most crucial thing is, is the little Ribena that I got. Ribena, 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 Ribena. So far, so good? <laughs> Not at all. Tell me when you're recording. <laughs> right. So, we're gonna make a rum punch. And Chris hits a tripod stand. I'm making a drink. Gonna make a drink? Gonna make a drink. Let's make a drink. What did I get? I got some Bacardi. I got a nice little strawberry Ribena. Monster punch. I also got the pipeline punch. Some orange juice. Passion fruit and pineapple. Ribena as well. We're gonna grab our jerry can, which I picked up for like roughly like five pounds. You can find these at every petrol station. Are these sterile? I think so. Can I drink from? Smells all right. We're gonna put everything in this huge rum punch or fruit punch. Uh, jungle punch, jungle juice, jungle juice. Gonna make a rum punch. What is a rum punch? Rum punch is basically rum and juice. Jerry can. We're gonna grab some ice that we got from the petrol station and try and get it in there. Maybe not that one. Maybe that one. This is incredibly satisfying. <laughs> I'll do. <laughs> so we got our ice in there. We're gonna grab some juice. We're gonna grab the Ribena passion fruit and pineapple, and we're gonna whack that in. Remember, you're doing this at the back of a bus. We're gonna have a lot of rubbish at the end of this trip. You know, whack that in there. So, and we're gonna get some orange juice in there next. And we're just gonna fill up because, you know, sharing's caring in this scenario. This is a sharing cocktail. This is like non-COVID times. Let's just imagine that, if we will. Got a liter of the Ribe Ribena in. No, I was leading to the orange juice. The liter of Ribena in, and we got a liter of orange juice in. And we're almost like halfway. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some Bacardi in. Bacardi is a white rum, and it, it tastes like rum. You can buy cheaper versions, you can buy more expensive versions. This is pretty much everywhere. I'm holding it like a total We're gonna put it in the jerry can. And I'll tell you why in a sec. I'm missing it, I missed it. Oh, look at that pour. Oh no! <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna stop there for a second while that digger goes past. Sweet Caroline, the time never stops. Right, so far we have got rum in our jerry can, we've got ice, we also have orange juice, and we have Ribena, the pineapple and passion fruit versions of it. So we've got a lot of the juices in there, we're gonna give it a little shake. If I can, if I can put the lid on, if can put the lid on, just put the lid on, just f***ing hell, put the lid on. Give it a little shake. Yeah, that's my stupid face. Brilliant. 
I saw shaking up. <laughs> I gotta stop smoking. So that's lovely and shaken. Um, this is half of the jerry can so far. What we're gonna put in next, we are gonna be putting in these two lovely bad boys here. So we've got the monster punch and we also have the pipeline punch. Yeah. We've got the Pacific punch on the pipeline punch. Sailor Jerry's ripoff. It's a Sailor Jerry's ripoff can right there. This, these two are delicious. If you have the opportunity, grab these because they're so sweet. But we're gonna put it in our jerry can of deliciousness. Just wasting all this. And that's just gonna give you loads of energy after a football game. That's just gonna like wake you up. Oh, I definitely need waking up. So this is why we shook it before, and we're not shaking it now because it would just explode or something. So give it a little swirl. Oh, premature. The last thing we've got is the crucial thing. Strawberry and an Ibina. Mm. Oh God, oh, that didn't work. I'm so happy I cleaned these mats earlier. Well, that just didn't do anything. No, this is so easy to make. Oh, it, hell. <laughs> Jerry can. Cocktail. You give it a little swirl. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. This ain't my bath. Now I'm gonna use my favorite part. The douche looking thing. Oh God, honestly, I can't get Oh God. Delicious. <laughs> Easiest to make, apparently. All right guys, we have made our rum punch jerry can cocktail. And what we're gonna do now, it is the review with me, Ali. We're gonna go through the rankings of it. So first off is taste. These taste awesome. Basically a rum punch to me is like a stew. You put everything in it. You grab anything you can find and put it in. There are no clear definitions of what you need in a rum punch. Multiple places will tell you different things, but it's literally up to you. Put in a spice rum, put in a normal rum, dark rum, whatever. As long as you've got fruit juices in there and it's got some sugar, then it's happy days because it's just brilliant. Honestly, like taste wise, it's a five. Uh, ease of making, pretty easy. I mean, I didn't make it look easy, I'll be honest with you. Well, that just didn't do anything. That was so easy. Oh, f it, hell. <laughs> yeah, ease of making four. You are putting everything in here and then you are drinking from it. If it's just for you and you're gonna be drinking almost five liters of rum punch, then yeah, you don't need a cup. Wankiness. I don't think this is wanky. I think this is completely opposite of wanky. You are literally drinking from a jerry can from a petrol station. You're not a knob. So one. It's a one on the wanky scale. Chris, you look concerned at me. Innovation, it's a three out of five. Not a six, a three. <laughs> I love this shit. I love doing this shit. I love that. That is banging. That's a wicked cocktail. It's delicious. I'm gonna put it in a bit of a, in a glass quickly. Glass, 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 glass. It's like super delicious. You got your caffeine in there, you got your booze in there, you got your fruit juices as well. It doesn't have to be like after a football game or like any sports thing. You can go and grab this any any time from a petrol station. You know, you're having a hard day at work, huh? House party. Thanks for interrupting me. House party. Yeah. If you're gonna have a house party, remember. Social distancing. Social distancing, that's a thing. Yes, it is. So whatever tier you're in, you can make this for a house party situation or a Zoom call or whatever f you can do. Perfect, it's the perfect thing to do. Sharing cocktail, like absolute winner. So if you want to soup things up a little bit, I made one here earlier. It is the pump room jerry can thing, optics, something like that. So what I did was I grabbed one of these nozzles from Amazon. I'll grab that nozzle and then I've drilled through it and I've put it all in the uh, back there. 
and uh, yeah, it's literally just, you can either hold it open or you can push it down. I don't know if it'll fit. I hope they're all like generic. Aha, it does fit. So what you can do is bring it up and you'd be like, yeah. would you like some rum punch? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's pretty awesome. This has been Ali from the Pump Room. Thank you very much uh, for watching me drink from a jerry can full of juice and booze. Go like and subscribe. Go leave a comment below what you would put in a jerry can. Don't say fuel because that's unoriginal. Check out some videos that we have somewhere around here. Chris will be here on Monday and potentially Wednesday if she can get out of bed on time. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go enjoy this outside in the cold. Farts, I like farts, fart, 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 fart.